Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 5 Communication Unit 1 Baby Emma isn't talking yet, but she's saying plenty. Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to Explain the difference between baby sign and American Sign Language. Describe the various sign language used by Emma. And understand the importance of sign language. Paragraph 1. Emma and I are sitting on the bed as our cat jumps up. Emma looks at the cat and then without hesitation takes both pointer fingers and brushes them against her cheeks. It's her symbol for cat. Paragraph 2. Emma is learning baby signs. Baby signs are the same idea as American Sign Language, ASL. But the parents and the baby determine the signs. The actual sign doesn't matter as long as everyone in the household understands it. Paragraph 3. At 12 months old, Emma is too young to communicate with words. She is just starting to utter sounds that could be words such as hat, hot, and high. But she has a whole repertoire of images and ideas that she communicates to us. Paragraph 4. We started teaching Emma signs when she was seven months old. The motions are the same ones most infants use instinctively. We started with more, pointer finger to palm, by, waving, and eat, fingers to mouth. Paragraph 5. We were pleased and rewarded when at nine months Emma started telling us she wanted more to eat. She moved on to more baby signs, nap, drink, book, bird, and others. Some we taught her, and some she made up on her own. Paragraph 6. Our experience with baby signs has helped us understand Emma's needs. One afternoon, after she and I had finished shopping at a bookstore, I put Emma into her car seat. As I handed her toys, each one was met with an upset look and an angry roar. Paragraph 7. Emma then looked up at me with her big blue eyes and put her palms together, and then opened them. I knew that she wanted a book to read. I gave it to her and she was happy. How incredible that at 12 months she was able to tell me exactly what she wanted. Paragraph 8. For Emma, life without words is not a life without language. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number 1. Pointer fingers. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. The fingers next to the thumb. Now let's take a look at a picture related to pointer fingers. Mohammed, could you please talk about this? Well, you see the long finger? That's the pointer finger next to the thumb. Now let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary words pointer fingers. Let's read the sentence. Emma looks at the cat and then without hesitation, takes both pointer fingers and brushes them against her cheeks. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number two, American Sign Language. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D, a communication system of hand signs. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to American Sign Language. Mohammed, could you please talk about this? Well, they communicate with their hands using signs. And that is what American Sign Language is, a system of communications using signs. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word American Sign Language. Let's read the sentence. Baby signs are the same idea as American Sign Language, but the parents and the baby determine the signs. Number three, repertoire. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. Total number of things one is able to do. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word repertoire. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see a baby thinking. And there is what repertoire means. A total number of things one, a one is able to do. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word repertoire. Let's read the sentence. But she has a whole repertoire of images and ideas that she communicates to us. Number four, instinctively. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. Naturally, without thinking or learning. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word instinctively. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, you see here knowledge and instinct. 
An instinct is more than knowledge. Naturally, without thinking or learning. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word instinctively. I'll read the sentence for you. The motions are the same ones most infants use instinctively. Choose the best answer. Question number one. Why does Emma brush her fingers against her cheek? B. It's her symbol for cat. Let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us that answer. Paragraph one at the bottom. The sentence reads, It's her symbol for cat. Question number two. What is the difference between baby signs and American Sign Language? C. Both A and B are correct. Let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us that answer. Baby signs are the same idea as American Sign Language, ASL, but the parents and the baby determine the signs. The actual sign doesn't matter as long as everyone in the household understands it. If the actual sign doesn't matter, then it isn't a formal communication system. Question number three. What words can Emma sign? C. She can sign a few words. Let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. But she has a whole repertoire of images and ideas that she communicates to us. Now, let's have a discussion. Mohammed, please tell us a few things that you learned. In this unit, I learned about baby sign language is a communication system between parents and babies. And it's less formal than American Sign Language, which is a communication system with the hands and it's important for babies and people with disabilities to communicate sign language. Baby Emma could tell her parents many things. And lastly, Baby Emma could tell her parents many things with her hands and fingers.